Welcome to this short film, Reminders and Artifacts of World War I. It's a film by me, Steve Higgins. We're going to be driving through northern France and looking for some significant places in the story of the First World War. We spend a lot of time in France, uh, coming over maybe twice a year. I Me mean, and my partner travel over in our small motorhome, sometimes by ferry, but the easiest way, despite the long haul from the north of England, where we live, to Folkestone, is by Euro Tunnel. What I particularly love about Euro Tunnel is that all you have to do is drive aboard this special train, park up, handbrake on, and then put your feet up for 30 or so minutes until you get to the other side. No need to leave your vehicle and find a cabin, just relax, and as I say, 30 or so minutes later, you're in France. I've always found it pretty easy to get tuned into driving on the other side of the road. As a matter of fact, I actually prefer it to driving the way we do in the UK. I think it just has a better flow being on the other side of the road. In fact, the biggest problem that I have is when I return to the UK and I've got to get tuned into driving normally once again. Anyway, this is our first stop in France, this museum in the Somme. I'm not a great fan of this particular museum. There's a lot of rusty artefacts, guns and helmets and stuff, as well as a lot of really quite interesting audio-visual exhibits. But generally, I wasn't that keen. The most interesting part by far was this replica aircraft uh, from the First World War. And uh, I actually think that if I'd have been fighting in the Somme, I'd rather be in that aircraft rather than down in the trenches. More than a million men were killed or wounded in the Battle of the Somme. And many of them, of course, remain here today. This next visit uh, was to the Loch Nagar Crater, the largest crater on the battlefield. It was made uh, by the British by tunneling under the German lines and then setting explosives to go off, uh, as I say, under the German lines. I'm guessing they expected uh, major casualties, but despite the huge explosion, one of the biggest explosions of the First World War, the Germans were not wiped out and the attack was mostly a failure. Now, despite using a, a wide-angle lens, it, it's really quite difficult to pick up just how big this crater is. Um, even on the walkway here, this uh, wooden walkway, there are little memorials to soldiers who lost their lives. It's actually a very moving experience to come here and, and to see this, the remains of this crater. This is uh, an item from the museum showing uh, just what a dreadful day it was, the first day of the Battle of the Somme, and many of those killed in battle lie here in uh, some of the many military cemeteries in the area. I never cease to be moved by these immaculate cemeteries and the graves of these young men who gave their lives for their country. Next on our tour, we came to look for the, the resting place of one of the great poets of the First World War. Wilfred Owen lies in the village of Hawes. And um, it, it wasn't actually a military symmetry. It was an ordinary uh, symmetry for the local people with this sort of military section just sort of added on. Wilfred Owen sadly killed just a few days before the armistice. Now, some of the trenches can still be seen, like in that shot there, pre preserved for us to, to see today. This next section is uh, at Compiègne, and uh, the end of the war came in 1918 here in uh, Compiègne and this actual spot here was where the armistice was signed in a railway carriage. Now, of course another armistice was signed in 1940 when the armies of Hitler defeated France. Now the original carriage was taken to Berlin by Hitler where it was, it was destroyed at the end of uh, World War II. 
This carriage was uh, identical to the original one and it was really quite fascinating to be here at this place where so much history was made. Anyway, that's the end of this short video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and you can find out more at stevehigginslive.com.